In this tutorial we're going to be looking at a strumming pattern or rhythm that is often referred to as the calypso strum or the island strum or simply as down down up up down up. It's one of the most common strumming patterns played on the ukulele and also the guitar and it fits very well with many music genres and styles. I will just demonstrate the strum for you and then we'll get into breaking it down and making it easier to understand and learn. So with just a C chord it should sound something like this. Just before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out with making these tutorials moving forward. The main thing to understand with this pattern, as with most others, is that it's just a rhythm played with your dominant hand whilst fretting a chord with the other hand. We generally use a finger or fingers or a thumb to play that rhythm. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use my index or first finger to strum with. That way we get a slightly louder strum on the downstrokes as I'm strumming down with my nail a softer, quieter strum on the upstrokes where I'm using the pad of my finger, not the very tip, but more where your fingerprint is. And I'm strumming the strings at the point where the neck joins the body of the ukulele, where generally the strings are at their loudest and the sound best, so with the C chord. I'm either just going to be using a C major chord or I'll be muting all the strings for the sake of the demonstrations, like so. The way I mute the strings is by gently resting my fretting hand across all four strings, so I'm touching them all, but I'm not pressing them down against the fretboard. This can be very useful when practicing rhythms or strum patterns without the distraction of having to think about chord shapes with your fretting hand, so it would sound something like this. And as with most rhythms, in 4-4 or common time, the strumming hand plays the numbered beats of the bar on the downstroke or strum. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Or perhaps with the muted strings. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We could also think of this as just down, 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 down down, down. And the upstrokes or strums on the ands would be in between the numbered beats. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and or down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Probably the most important thing to take from this tutorial is that for the sake of the calypso or island strum, and indeed most other strumming patterns, simply beyond playing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, the strumming hand is always still doing the same down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up motion, but sometimes we're not playing some of the beats or strums by not actually strumming the strings for that beat. For example, if I just play down, 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 which you probably learnt as your first strum pattern, my strumming hand still has to come up in between each down strum in order to strum down again. But I'm not actually playing the strings on the upstroke. So one, two, three, four. If I was to do the opposite of this and play the upstrokes or the ands in between the numbered beats, my hand still has to go down in order to come up again, but I'm not playing the strings on the downstrokes. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So to reiterate, with the calypso or island strum and other rhythms, the strumming hand is always doing the same down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up motion, but sometimes we're not playing some of the beats or strums. The ones we are missing can either be on downs or ups or a mixture of both. So for the sake of the calypso or island strum, the actual rhythm we're gonna be playing is this. Try clapping it with me, but maybe put your ukulele down somewhere safe to do so. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. 
what we're actually clapping is one, two, and, and four, and. 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 So instead of clapping all the beats, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, we are missing the clap on the and after one, and also the numbered beat three. These missed beats are represented by the underscore lines in the diagram. So to put this in context of strumming the ukulele, we would be playing this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or with muted strings, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you could count one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. So what's happening there, we're playing a down on beat one of the bar, a missed up on the and after one, represented by the underscore line, and then a down on beat two, an up on the and after two, then we miss a down on beat three, and then play up, down, up, on the and after three, the down on beat four, and the and after four. Probably the best way to learn this pattern is to break it down into two equal parts and practice each half of the bar individually first before trying to put them together. As you will probably struggle initially to count and strum all at the same time, I'm going to use a metronome to help with this exercise. You don't need to buy a metronome, there are many online. Just do a Google search for metronome and there'll be loads of options or alternatively download a free metronome app for your phone. I'm using an app called Soundbrenner on my phone, which is free and I'll link to it in the description below the video. I have my metronome set to play the numbered beats, R downs, so the one, two, three, and four. Any upstrums will fall between the clicks on the metronome. I have the tempo set at 80 beats per minute, which is reasonably slow and I've set it with a different sounding click on beat one of the bar, so it's harder to get lost where you are in the bar. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what I want you to do first is to listen to the metronome and check you are comfortable strumming a straight down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up pattern. Check that your hand is going down when the metronome clicks and that your ups are in between the clicks. So, one, two, three, four. Then what I want you to try and do is just to play down, down, up on the beats one, two, and the and after two. And then you will rest as you hear two more clicks, which are beats three and four, before the next bar starts again. I will count the beats that we're actually playing, so we'll count one, two, and, and I'll also count the three and the four that we're not currently playing on. So that should sound something like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. Down, down, up, 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 three, four. Now with the muted strings. One, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two and three, four. Down, down, up, 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 three, four. Before you get too comfortable with this, I also want you to make sure that your hand goes down after the upstrum, but misses the strings. And this will set you up for the second half of the pattern. So instead of just going down, down, up, and finishing with your hand above the strings, I want you to go down, down, up, and put your hand down. 
afterwards. And this will put your hand in the right place for the second half of the pattern. So once again, I'm gonna go down, down, up, and put my hand immediately down. So practice this with either playing a C chord or the muted strings until you're comfortable. And please feel free to rewind the video and play it back with me again as much as you need to. So what we have so far is the down, down, up being the first one, two, and, then our hand going down again afterwards is the miss down that would be beat three of the bar. So all we have left to play of the pattern now is an evenly spread out up, down, up which fall on the and, for, and at the end of the bar. So in order to practice just the second half of the bar, start with your hand down below the fretboard, as though you've just played that missed down strum after the down, down, up. Then listening to the count, wait for three beats. So one, two, three, and then play up, down, up on the and, for, and, like this. So one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and. I'll just do that with the metronome. One, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and, one, two, three and, four and. with muted strings. One, two, three, and four, and 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 one, two, three, and four, and. Again, practice this until you are completely comfortable with it. Then the next stage is to put both halves together. So we're now going to try playing the full pattern of down, down, up, up, down, up. Or down, down, up, up, down, up. So at this point, it's important to note that when we are playing the pattern continuously, the one of the next bar is gonna come straight after the final up of the previous bar. So in other words, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, the muted strings one two and and four and one two and and four and down down up up down up 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 it'll probably take you a while before you can play the pattern continuously because as well as understanding the rhythm you need to build stamina so don't be afraid to stop what you're doing if you get lost and wait for the next bar to come round or the one after that and try starting afresh there. So I will just play the pattern now with the metronome whilst both playing a C chord and also whilst muting the strings in order that you can try playing along with me. I will play counting some of the time and also with the metronome on its own at some points too. And again, feel free to rewind the video back as much as you need to go back over any sections you need to work on. One, two, three, four. strings one two three four down down up up down up 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 one two and and four and one two and and four and one two and and four and
Again, feel free to rewind the video back as much as you need and go back over any sections that you need to work on. In your own time, try practicing it both faster and slower than the tempo I've been using and also try it with different chords that you may already know. And the next stage after that would be to try changing chords at the end of the bar as you would in a song. So for example, So this brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel as I regularly post new tutorials and videos for ukulele at all different levels. Please give the video a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.